right, gentlemen, it is time that we destroy this new sex symbol of masculinity in our culture. What is the new sex symbol of masculinity in our culture? Toothpicks with androgynous faces, no chest hair, perfectly coiffed head hair, uh, and a, a aversion from hard manual labor, wearing perfect clothes. This is what our culture seems to say to us anyways. This is attractive. This is the new thing that's attractive. And it pisses me off. Here's why it pisses me off. Because you got a bunch of guys out there who see this and they're like, oh, I guess that's what makes a guy attractive. So that's what I'm going to strive for. And it's Hollywood putting this shit out there for you. You're like, oh, this is this is the new sex symbol. It's like, you know, you're going to be a toothpick and you're going to have perfect hair. And if you don't dress perfectly all the time, well, then you're not really an attractive guy. It's bullshit. It's total bullshit. And I'm, I'm, I'm calling for us as men to change. I, I think we need to bring back uh, this idea that what's attractive in a man is this doing, going and doing things. And that means a lot of times doing things that aren't desirable, like from a physical level. Like, okay, uh, getting dirty, getting grimy, using your hands, using tools. <gasps> That's below me. I couldn't do that. No, you should go do it. You should go do it. It will make you, it will ground you to the earth in a way that is, is really hard to explain. It, it, it will make you get this intense self, self-esteem self that you wouldn't have otherwise. It'll make you walk out of a job that was really difficult and look back and say, damn, that was really difficult, but I did it. I did it. And, yeah, I got dirty and grimy, and I got sawdust all over me. And it wasn't, you know, I I wouldn't be going to see the president like this. No, no way. But that was masculinity back in the day, man. We need to bring it back. I'm ready to bring it back. Like, be proud of your chest hair. Be proud of your calluses. We should make that the new sexy, all right? Not this super hyper manicured, hyper sanitized male. That's not masculinity. I'm calling for us to get rid of it because I'm sick and tired of seeing it everywhere. It's like there is something that that I think brings a lot of joy to men to get dirty and get grimy and to like not see dirt and grime as a barrier to going and doing something. Like it used to be back in the day, you would your cow would get stuck in in your cow pond. And if you were a farmer, guess what you did? Guess what you did? You just waded in the mud and the shit with a rope to put around your your cow so that the local town people could drag it out of the pond. And there was an acceptance of that man back in the day. There was an acceptance that, okay, that guy's actually badass because he does what has to be done. And he's proud of what he does with his life, you know? There wasn't this weird, like... Men have to be women to be attractive. That's not how it should be. It makes everybody in the world unhappier. Not specifically, men. I, I think you should act in accord with your nature. Your nature as a man is to be a doer, to go get things done. And if that means, yes, you're going to go get some shit on you or some mud on you or some grime and dust and sawdust, whatever it is, on you, and you're going to come home at the end of the day and you're going to be like, oh, that was a long day. That's okay. Let's just make that okay. I'm not saying every guy has to do that. I'm not saying your job is lesser if you don't do that. I'm just saying that that needs, I think that should be the idea of, oh, this is super hot masculinity right here. Is like the person who's kind of grizzled and he's got some years under his belt and he's like a hard worker. That's an attractive aspect of a dude, you know? But instead, instead we're making it all about this weird physical, like, smoothness everything's got to be clean and crisp and smooth and it's like men are supposed to be rugged and tough and a little rough around the edges sometimes and that's okay and i just think as a culture we need to change that narrative and make it so that guys can be guys and still be respected for being guys that's all i gotta say hope you enjoyed